This is a video on how to cast a sledgehammer made with cement using a mold. The hammer on the left is a real hammer that I make the mold from. The hammer on the right is the first hammer that I casted from the mold. This all started because I had some rubber left over after making a mold. So I looked around the shop for a small item that I could mold and I saw the sledgehammer. Voila, I had a plan. I've made a ton of these hammers just as gifts for family and friends. I will now go through the process I used to accomplish this project. Okay, the first thing I did was I released the sledgehammer with mold release so that it wouldn't stick and I hung it from the bench on a screw with a wire and I elevated that to where it was just off the bottom by an inch. I've taped the plywood inside with packing tape so that the rubber would release because if you put it right on the on the wood you'd never get it off so I've made a box and I've got the face of the box where you know I can put it on and you won't see the sledgehammer and it'll be a full box and I just pour it full of rubber that's what I do so basically right now I'm getting ready to put the face on and then pour it with rubber all right it's ready for rubber just going to pour it full and then let it dry. Okay, once I had poured it in the box with the tape, poured the rubber in there, I let it dry, and the next day I basically just started cutting and bending this back, pulling it back as I cut it and literally just sliced it all the way down and then got the hammer out and if you look at the uh, profile of this you can see the choppy kind of a cut there but they fit together perfectly you know so that's basically what I did is I just cut the piece completely out and then once it was out or cut then I pulled my hammer and started casting that's what I did Simple as that.
Okay, it's still a little bit uh, up in the air right there, you can see, but I've squished out some. There's nothing coming out of there, but right here, I need to squish a little bit more. And then uh, it'll still have a little slag on it when we pull it out, but that's casted. Obviously, you gotta cut that out, the grind, the slag. I mean, it's just paper thin. That's all it is. It's just, I usually just take the, the grinder, that's a sander actually, and just sand that off. And then there's a couple of pits here where you don't get exactly perfect casting. You can see that little blemish there, and I'll just put a little paste in there, finish it up, and then lightly sand it. But that's a very lightweight hammer. <laughs> and the mold, obviously. It's got some slag in it. We can clean that off and get that stuff out of there sometimes. But you just clean that up and it'll be ready for use again. Now I've got a sander blade on here, and that's what I'll finish it up with. So now I just need to take a little bit of cement paste and I'll take a little sanding paper and I'll just sand that lightly just to get rid of the, the marks on there and then I'll paste it just to get rid of these pock holes. These little pits can be taken out with cream and once I do that then I sand it. It's all done. Nice little hammer. Lightweight but yet it still packs a punch. I mean you can you can use this for a light a light uh, uh, what we call a light blow hammer, you know, where you're not needing a weight of a sledgehammer. That's a nice little casting. Okay, I thought I would weigh the two hammers to see what the, they were. So the, the metal sledge is 4 pounds, 15 ounces, almost, almost 5 pounds. That's what this one weighs on. And then the, the uh, cement hammer... Two pounds, two ounces, 2.3 ounces. So it's about three pounds less, almost. Two hammers sitting there. It's a lot less, but it's still strong.
Okay, so we got the hammer all done, painted, even uh, put the black where the handle goes through, but that's a complete deal. Now, this is what I call a box mold, where you use a lot more rubber than you would for a, a different type of casting, where we're, we're doing larger castings, which this isn't that large, but it's too large to do a box mold. You'd use a lot of rubber. So in this case, we have what's more more likely a thinner application of rubber which is doesn't keep its shape so it's just thin you know to capture the image it takes a lot less rubber and then you come by and you make a hard mold over it where these like this particular item here was a little sculpture my son made and uh, we wanted to mold it so we mounted it to a board and then made a box around it and poured it full of rubber and this is the rubber that it actually comes out of and again we just sliced it just like we had done with the hammer mold and out pops this another one that I did where I use this as a box uh, if I can get it out there we go this is again poured rubber so this little piece and this is what the the guy it was a job that I got the guy said it's a meditation rock you rub it and you meditate and you feel good about it but that was just a simple little thing that I put an eye hook hang it hang it hung it from the uh, shop bench there just to where it was just above inside of here and just to where there was rubber underneath and then poured the rubber around it and then took the piece out so this is more box molds as opposed to uh, a thin rubber with a hard mold over it so that's kind of just thought I'd give you that little detail there but thanks for watching, and if you like my video, please uh, subscribe, like it, and share it, and I appreciate you watching my videos. Thanks. Bye.